Welcome to another edition of Self-Defense Across America. In Waveland, police say the victim was walking to his car around 3.30 a.m. when three men armed with guns demanded his keys. He fired his own weapon. The suspects ran off. No one was hurt. Breaking overnight, three men are in critical condition after police say they were attacking a homeowner and he shot them. This happened around 1130 last night in the Belmont Cragen neighborhood. The 43 year old victim was in front of his home on West Wrightwood when police say the three men allegedly started attacking him. Police say the victim, who is a concealed carry license holder, started shooting and the three men ages 29, 22 and 55 were all critically wounded. The victim, also in critical condition, suffering blunt force trauma to the head and body. Police continue to investigate. This Uber driver shows us his SUV where he says he was threatened by a violent suspect. He jumped onto the car, boom, he slid that way, and then it, the, the marks are still on the, um, I've been going to uh, get it watched, but this is, you can kind of see like the, the mark, and this is where he's hitting the window. Teran Sanders says he fired two shots from his Buick Enclave in self-defense to protect himself and a passenger in the back seat. Uh, I did feel, you know, like my life was in, in danger. And this video shows a resident in Stanton rushing inside her home after hearing a gunshot. The OC Sheriff's Department says the Uber driver shot a 20-year-old man who was reportedly assaulting a woman near a dumpster before 8 p.m. yesterday at the 7100 block of Custer Way in a condo community. At the same time, Sanders was pulling up to drop off an Uber passenger. We pulled up, and as soon as we pulled up, we saw a guy stripping, like butt naked. So I kind of backed the car up, like, hold up, what, what's going on here? When he started charging at the woman, he started violently, like, hitting her haymakers, knees to her head. He was slamming her head on the ground. Sanders says he took action as a good Samaritan driving up to the scene. That's when the suspect turned his violence onto them. He jumped onto the uh, windshield, um, you know, started uh, yelling out uh, threats, obscenities, and uh, racial slurs. Um, he began beating on the side of the window. Sanders says he yelled out and warned him to stop before firing a warning shot out of his driver's side window. Neighbors called for help. You hear a gunshot go off, you, you got two kids, you instantly just, you know, try and go to the middle of the house and I called 911. Sanders says he turned around and fired a second shot out of the passenger side rear window. The warning shot didn't do anything but amp him up to keep coming. Um, he started attacking a different part of the car. Um, that's when I took aim, you know, and I did what I did. Neighbors believe the suspect had been staying with relatives in the community. It's not clear what motivated the alleged attack against the woman. Deputies say the man is in the hospital in critical but stable condition and could face charges pending further investigation. As for Sanders, he said he had to take action. Now at noon, two people were in the hospital fighting for their lives after an overnight shooting in DeKalb County. That shootout, by the way, was caught on camera. Yeah. Atlanta News First, Don Shipman is live in Lithonia with the latest on the investigation. And Don, you talked with the store owner and his employees were actually behind the counter when this happened. That's exactly right. Can you imagine being those employees? Thankfully, they are okay, but they are shaken. This was like something out of a movie, too. And look right there. You can still see the bullet holes. One, two, three bullet holes inside the windows right there. Now, a warning for you right here. You are going to hear gunfire, and this video is difficult to watch. Let him get it brave, Why, why are you walking up on me? Hey, the terrifying moments captured on surveillance video. A shootout inside this Atlanta's best wing shop in Lithonia overnight. Oh my God! In the video, too graphic to show in its entirety, two customers are inside the store along Covington Highway around 2 a.m. when one of them opens fire on the other. The shooter then runs out of the building while the victim is seen slowly dragging himself across the floor. Are you okay? No, I'm not. And then he's come back and then the guy shot for the shooter. Tell me what you got! When the shooter returns, he's seen grabbing what appears to be a backpack. And when he's leaving, the shooting victim returns fire. And then one of the guys told me in the store, get out. I didn't know what was going on. I just thought the guy was just on the ground drunk or something. You know what I mean? I didn't know what was going on. 
DeKalb investigators spending several hours processing the scene, collecting evidence, and interviewing witnesses. Frustrated. I mean, this community, it happens over and over. And I live in this community. So I, I don't feel safe in my own community. And it's sad. My employees, every, everybody is okay. Yeah. And back here live, just about five minutes ago, the store owner came out and put that sign on the door saying that they would open back up at five o'clock this evening. Now, both men were rushed to the hospital. As far as their condition, authorities are saying that they are listed in critical condition. And as far as the investigation, DeKalb police not releasing too many details there, only saying that they believe that this all started because of a dispute. We're live here in DeKalb. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. Is dead after a late night shooting in Pinch. Kanawha County deputies say it happened at the TC Energy job site on Friday. A 64 year old man pulled up behind oil trucks on Upper Pinch Road, then got out of his vehicle. Deputies say the man got into a disturbance with everyone on scene and allegedly pulled out a firearm. That's when deputies say the security guard shot him. The alleged suspect died on scene. No charges have been filed against the security guard, and deputies say they are cooperating with law enforcement. The investigation is ongoing. Heading now to the southwest suburbs where an Oak Forest man is recovering after a shootout with burglars. The man spotted the thieves outside his home, grabbed his gun, and started chasing. CBS 2's Jermont Terry spoke with a terrified neighbor who watched the whole thing unfold. The search is on for a group of people who not only broke into properties, but shot a neighbor who confronted them, leaving many people in this Oak Forest neighborhood uneasy. I heard boom, boom, boom really loud, which sounded at the moment like somebody was pounding on the window. This woman would later discover the noises which woke her up were shots, an exchange of gunfire between a neighbor and several armed suspects overnight. I noticed that there was a suspect running by the tennis courts. He leaped over the fence into the yard, and by the time I went to the front of the house, I seen him running down the street. She witnessed one guy leaving the scene, running after her neighbor was shot twice and left bleeding in the parking lot of a nearby park. That's why she's hiding her identity. I heard some moaning, and I didn't, I didn't comprehend where it was coming from. By the time police responded, the calamity of what played out and the quiet Oak Forest community set in. Having your neighbor getting shot at and hopefully he's going to make it, it's just traumatizing, it's horrible. Makes you really think about what is going on in all these neighborhoods. Police have not said who fired the first shot, but we know after confronting the intruders, the homeowner chased them in the dark with his gun but he's the one who went to the hospital with two gunshot wounds. He's aggravated and he's upset and he wants to protect his home. And it's hard, it's, it's hard to hear because he should just stay in home and call the cops. But I understand people are angry and they want to make sure they get the people who are doing the bad things because sometimes they never get caught. Right, and in this case, they're still looking for them. Exactly. Oak Forest police have not said who fired the first shot or if any of the intruders were injured. We do know that homeowner was taken to a local hospital and remains in stable condition. Reporting in Oak Forest at the police department, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.